you guys, it's Ariel Brina. Today we will be looking at my Halloween haul. As a lot of you performers know, um, Halloween is like the best time to buy outfits because everybody who doesn't usually dress up um, is now selling them or putting them on the racks and we need them. So I hit a pretty good haul this year and I'm really excited about it. I'm excited to show you guys. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Let's get into the video. This is one of the outfits I found. I got this at Goodwill for about $5. It has the little fringes. It's got some little sequin detailing and a little like ruffle in the back. Um, ignore the bruises right here. I did change this week. Um, aerial chains. And then it's got the little halter and backless. So I'm going to have to do some alterations on this one because it is not um, long enough. So I did buy some white fabric the other day at the craft store so I could make the bottom area bigger and therefore making it all bigger. So this is a project piece but it's really, really cute. This is the next outfit I found. I got this one also at Goodwill for about $5. It's really sparkly. Here's what the back looks like. Oop, a trick. Here's what the back looks like. It also has some ankle, little sparkly ankle pieces. Overall, it's just really, really pretty. Here's a close up of all of the detailing. This one fits perfectly, so we do not have to do any revisions at all, which is really exciting because usually I sew my own and it's really difficult to do sometimes. This is one of my favorites. It's so pretty. Um, my boyfriend's mom got me this one and it's so pretty. Look at all the detailing. Oh my gosh, it's like a shimmery purple with the black. It's literally, I'm obsessed. Also, I have like really weird ribs and usually they don't like fit that well into some outfits and this fits perfectly because the ribs are out. Um, I'm obsessed. I also don't have to do any sewing for this one. So that's awesome. I don't know how much she paid for it, but I, I love it. <laughs> Definitely gonna use this one a lot. These are some other outfits that I found for the studio that I just couldn't pass up even though they definitely will not fit me. This is a little kid outfit and it's got little shorts underneath and the little like pedal looking skirt. It's super cute. This one matches the white one. Like it's got the frills in the front, it's got the tutu in the back. The leotard and it is really sequiny. This I left the tag on so I could tell you guys how much I got it for. This was four dollars at Goodwill so now I can take that off. It is washed but I just washed it with the tag off. <laughs> and then I found this and I was so obsessed whenever I found this. It is a little Dumbo outfit and it's so cute for a little tot. I have a tots class so this will be very, very cute for that. I'm probably gonna have to take out the Velcro and make it snap so they don't snag the silks, but I'm so obsessed. This is so cute. I also got this top from Amazon. Whenever you put um, a flash or a light on it, it turns holographic and it glows really, really pretty. And I was absolutely obsessed. I think it was $23. I will put the link below because it's amazing. And I will also put a picture next of this because it's so beautiful and you cannot see what it does right here. And now. When I got this top, I did know that it ran a little bit wonky with sizes, so these are really, really big, the little bra area, um, but I wanted it to fit around here, so I got the bigger size, and I am planning on sewing it 
right here so this covers more or um, taking this part in so it will fit better. I also think I'm gonna buy more holographic fabric, just have to find it. This is another outfit we found. It is a, a tutu, a corset, a hat, and the jacket. It's a ringleader costume. I mainly bought it for the jacket because I thought that this would be really, really cute for an event or for a warm-up jacket or something circus related. To say, this was like handmade by someone, like they, completely handmade this and it is amazing um i think that the corsets are also handmade as well as the hat because this side doesn't really fit well and this side is like perfect um so a person literally took the time also the skirt's like cut in the middle like this is how they made it they cut it in the middle and the corset covers it perfectly so you can't see i know you guys can't see you too well but yeah they just they just do a tutu um, but, like, for a handmade costume, this is awesome. Like, she did amazing. I also found these butterfly wings that are really, really cool. Um, also at Goodwill, I don't remember how much. I think it was, like, $3. Um, uh, you've got little hand loops, and then you can flow with them. I thought they would be a really, really cool thing for me to do at like a performance or something or on the aerial hoop can you imagine me flying around the, on the aerial hoop in like a circle and just like putting my arms out oh it's gonna be so pretty um i'm literally so excited um so yeah this is why i bought them <clears throat> they are really really pretty also they're a really easy halloween costume um in addition to an outfit um and they'd be really, really cool for like a Monarch release or something like that event. So these are really pretty. I'm excited I got them. I went to Goodwill just for them actually because my parents told me that they were there. So I'm excited they were still there and I snagged them. At Joanne Fabrics, I found this really, really pretty spider web. Holo it's like kind of holographic, I guess. Um, it does like the rainbow i don't know if you can see it right here you can see it a little bit um but i just got my spider pans you can check them out in the last video that i posted um they are spider fans so i'm really excited because i'm gonna make them spider fan covers out of this and maybe a matching outfit to go with them whenever i'm not lighting them on fire because this is not fireproof it's not a natural fiber so that's gonna be really, really cool. I'm really excited about it. Subscribe for future videos um, of me making fan covers and doing other things such as all these sewing projects that I've now accumulated um, and uh, my aerial adventure. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment for more content.